Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to complete the projection of plane for the rectangular lamina. So the given problem statement is a rectangular plane of 30 mm by 70 mm side is resting on HP on one of its shorter edge. So in this case, they have given shorter edge is equal to 30 mm, and on that side, the rectangular plate is going to be rest, and the surface is inclined at 30 degree to the HP. Draw its projection when the edge with which is resting on the HP makes an angle 50 degree to the vertical plane. So in this case, we are going to complete this problem in six view. In first two views, we are going to draw the true shape of that rectangular plane having 30 by 70 mm side, and that we are going to project in a horizontal plane as a line. And later on, we are going to tilt that plane at an angle 30 degree to the HP. And in the second case, they are going to make the HP inclinations okay, on which it is going to be raised at an angle 50 degree to the vertical plane. So just go with the object layer, select this rectangle command, specify one point over here, and you have to enter side 30 by 70 and hit enter. But if you just Read this for given problem statement carefully. That rectangular plane having 30 by 70 mm side is resting on HP on one of its shorter edge. So in this case, this is nothing but the shorter edge. Okay. So that we are going to make perpendicular to this XY line over here. So just go with the rotate command, select this drawn object, and you can rotate this respect to this column that we are going to rotate an angle 90 degree like this okay so just go with the move command so that we can move this object nearer to this x y line like this okay now once we are done with this just go on naming for this go with the single line text select text type 3 enter 0 degree rotation So this is going to be point A for this given rectangle. This is going to be point B, point C, and point D. Now move all those points to the required place one by one. So we have this point A over here. Okay. Now once we're done with this nomenclature. Just go with the projection layer, go with the line command. So this will be the projection line for the point A and B. Draw the projection line for the point C and D as well. Go with the object layer and just connect these two points by drawing a single line over there which will represent the front view projection you can go with the single line text select text type 3 and here we have to mention point A dash for the point A in a top view again point B dash similarly at this corner point C dash as well as point D now once we're done with this, if you just look out the first part of that problem statement, the surface is inclined at 30 degree to the HP. Okay? So this surface is going to make an angle 30 degree with respect to horizontal plane. So just go with the copy command, select this front view, hit enter button, select this as a base corner point with which we are going to copy this and at convenient place just place it over here. Okay. Now the same line we are going to tilt at an angle 30 degree. So just go with the rotate command, select this front view once again, hit enter button, <coughs> select this point with which we are going to rotate this given front view at an angle 30 degree. Enter 30 degree angle over there and hit enter button. 
go with the projection line command draw the vertical projection lines in a downward direction by turning on this auto mode command again draw the projection line for the point C and D as well similarly you have to project this point A and D in a horizontal manner so that we will get point A and D at this point as well as at this point similarly you have to project point B and C horizontally so over this line we will get point B and on this line we will get point C as an intersection point again go with the object layer go with the line command so if we just look out the projection line for the point A from the top view this will be the projection line for the point A and from front view we will have the projection line for the point A over here so at the intersection we are going to find point A over there so this will be the point A this is going to be point B this is going to be point C at the intersection this will be the point D and again point A so we have completed this fourth view when the plane is going to make an angle 30 degree with respect to HP now let me measure this inclination as well go with the angular measurement so this is going to be an angle 30 degree like this okay. again you can copy these names as well Control C Control V so we have point A over here similarly point B like this point B Control C Control V so here we will get point B similarly point C Control C place it to the proper place so that it is visible again control C and control V place it over here so by this way we have completed our top view projection when this incline this plane is going to be make an angle 30 degree with respect to HP now if you just look out the second part of this given problem statement you have to complete projection when the cage with which is resting on HP makes an angle 50 degree to the vertical plane. So if you just look out the third view over here, okay, this is nothing but the edge is going to be rest over the horizontal plane. And that we have in the top view projection over here, edge AB. Okay, so this is going to make an angle 50 degree to the vertical plane as per the given condition. So first of all we will just copy this view as it is over here go with the copy command select this object hit enter button and with respect to point D we are going to copy somewhat over here like this now once we are done with this we are going to make a 50 degree angle with respect to this cage okay so initially we have this 90 degree over here and this we are going to tilt which will make an angle 50 degree with respect to vertical plane over here so just go with the rotate command select this turn off this auto mode command hit enter button let me undo this select this corner point with which we are going to rotate it at an angle 50 degree before that turn off this auto mode command now if I move my cursor in a clockwise direction you are able to see that that geometry is going to rotate and makes a certain distance with a certain angle with respect to that vertical plane so if you just imagine a triangle over here okay so initially we have this side a b perpendicular to this vertical plane and that we want at an angle 50 degree okay so this line with respect to vertical plane is going to make a 50 degree angle over here so at this point we have to keep 40 angle over here okay so this must be the 40 angle so that it will make a 50 degree angle with respect to vertical plane so just move your geometry in this direction okay and there you have to enter minus 40 degree angle like this 
Now if you just measure the inclination made by this side AB, go with the angular measurement, there you will find 50 degree inclination with respect to vertical plane like this. Okay? So we have that inclination 50 over there. So what we have done, initially we have this angle 90 degree. Okay? And this is going to be 50 as per the given condition. So this remaining angle must be 40. And that we have entered while using this rotate command. So this will be the 40 degree angle, this will be the 90, the remaining angle will be 50 as per the triangle law. So equivalent angle must be 180 degree. Okay. Now once we done with this, just go with the projection layer, again line command, draw a line from the point A, make sure that we are turn on this ortho mode command. So over here we will get intersection point A. Similarly, draw the projection line for the point B as well. Again, over here we will get that intersection point. Similarly, for the point C, move that line at this certain height. Again, from the point D. Okay. Similarly, you have to draw projection line for the point AB. So already we have a line over here. So here we will get intersection point A. This will be the intersection point B. Similarly, you have to draw the projection line from the point C and D. Just draw it till this point C. Okay, so here we will get point C and this is a point B. Again, change it to the object layer, go with the line command, draw a line which will connect point A B. Again, turn off this ortho mode command or you can press here fade button. Again, connect this point which is nothing but the point C. Again, this is going to be point D. Again, point A. Go with the trim command, just trim out that extra projection lines that we have drawn over here. Similarly over here as well. Okay. So this is the final view as per the given condition. Again just go with the single line text. Select text type 3. Rotation angle 0. This is going to be point A dash over here. So this is going to be point A dash. This is going to be point B dash at the intersection. This will be the point C dash. Again, point D dash. Okay. Now once we're done with this nomenclature, just provide the dimensions go with the linear dimension, go with the projection layer. This is 30. Again, this is 70 as per the given. This is the final solution for this given problem statement. Thank you.